Hey guys, we have Easter coming up on tomorrow, Sunday, April 12th, for some of you that celebrate. And if some of you do not, it's absolutely fine. But today we're going to enjoy Here Comes T-Rex Cottontail. And I think this is a funny one because it has a dinosaur, which I know we all like as characters. And I think it's just a really entertaining story. So I think the author of this story wrote the book to entertain us or to make us laugh not necessarily to teach us something. Now I have a sticker here at the bottom. That's how I keep my books organized. So it's hard for me to read who this book is by. So what I can do is open up my story to the title page and I can see right there that this book was written by Lois Grambling and illustrated by Jack E. Davis. So I can also find information on that title page. We should remember that from class. Here, we can see that the book was dedicated or written for certain people. It says, to my favorite Easter bunnies, some big, somewhat larger, and older than others. So he dedicated this book, I think, to some of his family members. Here we go. T-Rex was looking in the mirror. Not bad. Not bad at all, he said. Just then, the doorbell rang. He answered it. It was his friend, Diplodocus, Stegosaurus and Iguanodon. Those are different types of dinosaurs. Why the funny ears? And a big cotton tail, huh? Diplodocus asked. Tomorrow is Easter, Stegosaurus said, not Halloween. Peter Cottontail, aka the Easter Bunny, has a cold, T-Rex said, and he asked me to deliver his eggs tomorrow. But you can't hop, Iguanodon said. I've been practicing, T-Rex said. The three friends looked around. Where are the eggs? They asked. At his house, T-Rex answered. I'm hopping down there now to get them. Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon watched as T-Rex wobbled and hopped out the door. I'm afraid those eggs are in for a shell-shattering trip tomorrow, Stegosaurus said. T-Rex can practice when he gets back, Iguanodon said. Too late, Diplodocus said, looking out the window. Look at him trying to hop out the window, or I'm sorry, hop out the door. Ah, T-Rexes don't hop. Poor T-Rex. Wobbling and hopping up the bumpy trail, he stumbled and fell and landed curse splat on Peter Cottontail's basket full of eggs. What a mess. Oh man, he must be so disappointed. T-Rex walked slowly into his house. What now? His friends asked. I don't know. T-Rex answered. Oh, he looks so sad. His head is pointing down. His eyes are looking down and he has a frown. It's hard to see friends disappointed. Suddenly, T-Rex had an idea. We'll get more eggs, he said, and color them. Then I'll have some to deliver Easter morning. Where will we get more eggs? Stegosaurus asked. Hen gave all of hers to Peter Cottontail. Well, there must be more out there somewhere, T-Rex said. Diplodocus grabbed the empty basket. You stay here and practice, he said. We will get the eggs. I like how they're working together. What good friends. By the end of the afternoon, T-Rex had gotten the wobble out of his hop, and his friends had gotten more eggs. T-Rex was pleased or happy. Where did you get them? He asked. From duck and goose and turkey, Stegosaurus said. And one was from our friend Screech Owl. We better start coloring them now, Iguanodon said, or we won't be done until dawn. Late that night, all the eggs were colored. T-Rex and his friends were asleep and snoring. Do you have any friends in your life that snore? Mr. West. Unfortunately, oh no, that means it was a bad thing. When the sun came up, T-Rex and his friends were still asleep. But the children weren't. They were at their windows, awake and waiting. 
with shouts of, Where are you, Easter Bunny? could be heard. Oh, no. Now kids look sad and disappointed. T-Rex heard them. He jumped up. He put on his funny ears, cotton tail, his long twitching whiskers, jacket, and a bow tie. I'll save an egg for Peter Cottontail, T-Rex said to his friends. Meet me at his house later. We'll give it to him then, he said, hopping out the door. The children were still at their windows, waiting and worrying, until T-Rex hopped into view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big cottontail hopping down that bumpy trail. <laughs> When all the eggs, well, except for one, had been delivered, T-Rex started hopping back up the bumpy trail. Thanks for our eggs, Mr. Really Big Cottontail, the children called after him. Anytime, T-Rex called back. T-Rex hopped to Peter Cottontail's house. His friends were already there. Do you have the egg? they asked. T-Rex nodded and rang the doorbell. Peter Cottontail answered it. T-Rex handed Peter Cottontail the egg. For me? Peter Cottontail asked. T-Rex and his friends nodded. No one has ever given me an Easter egg before, he said. Thank you. I bet he loved being included, right? Just then, the eggs began to crack open. Crack! Crack, crack, and dozens of tiny ducks started quacking, and dozens of tiny geese started honking, and dozens of tiny turkeys started gobbling. This is the best Easter ever, the children shouted. Then Peter Cottontail's egg began to crack open. And when tiny screech owl started screeching, Peter Cottontail was surprised and delighted. Why, this is the noisiest Easter ever, he said. The noisiest and the best. I shall never forget it. Nor shall we, said T-Rex and his friends. Happy Easter, everybody. So if you celebrate Easter, I hope you're looking forward to following some family traditions. And if you don't celebrate Easter, that's quite all right. Just celebrate spending these extra sunny days with your friends and your family, keeping each other safe and keeping each other happy. I love you, friends.